Uh, praise the Lord. How are you? Hope you are doing well this, uh, this day. And I know that the Lord will be able to bless you because uh, today's uh, spiritual transformation menu, our menu for today is never lose hope. The earth's trouble fade in the light of heaven's hope. Of course you will encounter trouble. But behold, a God of power, we can take any evil and turn it into door of hope. In the book of Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 19, the Bible tells us, This hope, in this God now, this confidence assurance we have as an anchor of the soul, it cannot sleep and it cannot break down under whatever pressure bears upon it. A safe and steadfast hope that enters within the veil of the heavenly temple, that most holy place in which the very presence of God dwells. You remember the story of the Ark of the Tabernacle that was going through the wilderness with Moses? As you can remember how it was divided into three sections. We had the outer court, we had the holy place, and we had the holy of holies. At the end of the day, when you are hopeful, you staying hopeful, it pushes you to access the holy of holies. That place where the presence of God dwells. Despite God's love and despair, his countless blessings, we frail, we frail human beings can still hope from time to time when we, do, need, when we do, do things and when we need the support of Christian friends. The life-changing power of prayer and the healing truth of God's holy word. This can be a place of pain and heartache. But as a believer, you are protected. You are assured, 100% assured. As long as you stick unto the Lord, you keep your faith, you stay hopeful, then I am telling you, you are assured that God will deal with every situation in your life. God had made many promises to you and he intends to keep every single one of them. Since the fathers always has given our Lord Jesus the leeway to petition the, our case before him. So always, God always keeps his promises, and if he keeps his promises, then that means we are safe now and forevermore. Your security is assured through his faithfulness. The presence of hope in the invisible sovereignty of God drives out fear. Let me repeat again. The presence of hope in the invisible sovereignty of God drives our fear out. Jesus gives us hope because he keeps us company, has a vision and knows the way we should go. Let me tell you, he's the author and the finisher of our faith. If your, hope, if your hopes are being disappointed just now, it means that they are being purified. I love this. If your hopes are being disappointed just now, it means that they are being purified so that you may sing a new song. So therefore, my brother, my sister, I don't know what you're going to say about today. If you look at this topic, where are you? Do you believe, are you, are you hopeful that something good is coming along your way? Because I still remember the Bible tells us that the latter church will have greater glory than the former. Yet if you look at this world that we are living in every day, calamities and insecurity and sicknesses, they are all surrounding us and it seems like every day people are losing hope. But you know what? If you try to put your hope in the things that are seen by, human eye, by, by, by the physical eyes, then you are in big trouble. Because you have to understand that your life, the any given life starts from the spiritual the moment you are created by God, that is the moment he breathed in uh, he, he, his life or his, 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 your soul into, into, it came into being and that is where you are living. Therefore, my brother, my sister, do not at any given time fret because of the things that you are seeing around. Always stand bold. Believe in this God. Have faith in him. Trust in him at all times. In turbulent times, know he is the God who is going to make you hold on to that cross. And that cross will take you into safety. So therefore, 
do not forget at any given time from today that losing hope it is very dangerous because without hope it means you are fear you are you are faithless and that faithless environment can only terminate your life because it is just like stagnant a stagnant water when when you happen to come across a stagnant water i am telling you there is nothing good that can come from out of it other it will just it will basically only uh, disappear just like that without any any help so therefore be real to yourself stay hopeful have that confidence that assurance know that that the, the, the hope it is our anchor and it is anchored in our lord jesus christ therefore it is unbroken nothing can separate whatever you are hoping to or with or for to the blessings that god has released into your lives praise the name of the father therefore Christians will come to support you. Will you stay hopeful? Well, life-changing power of prayer at any given time when you pray, you need to understand that at any given time when you pray, you continuously put your trust in the Lord and know every prayer that you do, it is not in vain because there is God in heaven. The healing truth of God's holy word, this scripture doesn't change. That is why our God does not change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So therefore, my brother, do not forget to stand in the path of hope. Stay hopeful. And I know that everything will work out for you in Jesus' mighty name. Let's bow our hands and we pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your loving kindness and love of mercy. It is only by your power that we can be able to maintain and be able to access that hope which can make us stay God of glory, awaken our spirits so that we may be able to live God of glory, a, a, a glorious and even a happy life in this world. Yet, because you are the chief architect of our lives and the life of the viewer, it is my prayer today that you'll make him father know that the hope that he is carrying right now, it will stand in as an anchor which has been tied with our Lord Jesus Christ and it will not be broken by anything as long as Lord of glory, you are involved. Therefore, Lord, I pray that you be with Jehovah Master to help this viewer from today going forward and every time of need, Father God of glory, or the desires of his heart, fulfill them that he may be able so that he may be able to stand God of glory boldly and proclaim your goodness and of your mercy because of the miracles that you have performed and the answered prayers you have performed around this life. We want to thank you and I pray all this, Father, believing that you are going to bless him or her in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. We pray and we believe and I say, Amen.